Hello everyone. Today, we'd like to talk about eBay description templates and how you can configure them using Salesdio's eBay integration. Unlike Amazon, the eBay marketplace offers sellers a flexible way to present product descriptions. An eBay listing includes multiple sections, title, image section with gallery, variations block, item specifics block, and the eBay product description section. Inside the description section, eBay allows sellers to use almost any HTML tags and CSS, providing significant flexibility in detailing product, payment, and shipping information. Please note that if you wish to use an identical description across all your products, you'll need to prepare it separately for each listing, replacing subsections with product-related data. With SalesTO's eBay integration, you can simplify this process by using eBay description templates. The eBay description template section can be accessed from the SalesTO app, then the eBay application, then profiles, and finally the description template. After installing SalesTO, you'll already have a default simple template. You can modify this template or create a brand new one using your existing eBay listing description. Let's delve into the eBay description template in detail. Every template in SalesTO contains its name as it is represented internally and then the template text. Description template fields are available in two modes. Visual mode with an embedded editor allows you to modify the text style, adding headers, images, tables, and more. The raw mode or HTML mode displays all templates in HTML, and to modify template content, you'll need to use special tags. Visual mode is useful for simple templates where complex styling is not needed. HTML mode allows the creation of any complex template you need or the integration of your existing template. The toggle editor button lets you switch between both modes. The preview button renders a template using one of your store products. Now let's look at the special variables available in the template. The eBay description template used for multiple products conveniently allows you to avoid defining fixed data in the template, such as product title, description, or gallery. You can find a set of variables in the description template that SalesTO will replace with the corresponding product data you are exporting to eBay. Among these variables, you'll find standardized parameters like product name, description, quantity, or price, and a built-in gallery replaced with images available for the products. If you're actively using meta fields in your store, it's also possible to push data from product meta fields into the description. As mentioned earlier, after setting a template, you can preview it with one of your existing store products. First, save the template, then click on the Preview button. In the new dialog, you'll need to select a product used for the template, and after confirmation, you can see a generated template where the variables are replaced with available product data. Okay, now let's look at a few common tasks related to the description template. Setting existing description template. If you want to use your existing eBay description template inside SalesTO, you need to follow a few steps. First, create a new description template, then switch to HTML mode by clicking the toggle editor button and paste your template into this field. Next, replace product-related data in the template with SalesTO description variables. For example, we set the correct product title, product description, and integrated image gallery. After this, save the template and use a preview to verify how it looks with one of the products. Please note, if you are using a complex template with HTML and CSS, don't switch to visual mode. The visual editor can often disrupt complex styling and structure. Applying extra styling. For applying extra styling, the visual editor inside the SalesTO description template offers several options, like making text bold, italic, changing font size, and others. However, if you need more styling options, you can use HTML mode and provide CSS styling applied to sections of the template. Look at this example, where we create a paragraph with highlighted text for a specific paragraph. We'll use ChatGPT to generate styling. Switch to HTML mode, set a style tag, and insert style text. Then, for specific parts of our template, we'll indicate highlighting requirements by setting a CSS class highlight. Finally, we'll save the template and preview how it's rendered with our product. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed our video. If you have any questions, 
please reach out to our support team.